video, and today we're gonna be reacting to Mercury Glide Across the Sun in the Rare Sky Show. So we're just gonna be reacting to that. So let's get started. Alrighty, guys. So here it is. Here is the line. So the black dot of Mercury crosses the sun disk in a composite image made due to the last Mercury transit in 2016. So see Mercury glide across the sun in the Rare Sky Show. So there we go. And on November 11th. The innermost planet will sail across the solar disk in an event that won't repeat for another 13 years. Whoa, that is a long time. So it's 2019 now. Whoa, that'd be, ooh, that's a long time. So there we go, guys. That is it. And let's let's just keep reading this. Skywatchers across much of the Western hem Hemisphere are gearing up for a rare show on November 11th as the planet Mercury sails across the face of the sun. Known as a transit of Mercury, this is the last time humans will see the daytime sky and show until 2032. Whoa, like that's a long time. And I, wow, that's crazy. There we go. So during a transit, Mercury passes between Earth and the sun, small against the yellow glow of the disk, safe viewing a paramount at all times. Never look directly at the sun without proper pr protection or your wrist damaging your eyes. That's true. So let's keep scrolling down. Not that you'd be able to see much with your eyes during a transit from Earth. The black dot of Mercury will be just 1 1 60th the solar disk, so you will need a relativity high power visual aid fitted with solar filter to watch the transit. If you don't have the right gear looking for public viewing parties, held back as strongly closed museums and colleges in many countries, guys. So there we go. We just we just read a lot of gut information about this, and just never look at the sun without proper like equipment, or you will just damage your eyes. And that's true. Never look at the sun without. It's kind of it's kind of risky. So Mercury, the planet Mercury is named after the messenger of the Roman god because of its fleeting nature across the sky. Find out the reason behind its incredible speed. If it is indeed the hottest planet in the solar system, and why the smallest planet in the solar system is slowly shrinking. It's shrinking. This year, Mercury will take out five and a half hours to complete its trek, making first contact with the disk at 7.35 a.m. The planet reaches the midpoint in its journey at 10.20 a.m., and the transit ends at 1.04 p.m. There we go. So we are reading a lot of good facts, and it's, it's helpful for you guys as well, because you're learning with me. And we all learn together. So there we go. So weather permitting, the best seats will in place where the entire transit will happen during daytime. They orbit closer to the sun than Earth. Mercury and Venus are the only planets that can make solar transits from our perspective with its swift 88 day orbit. Mercury passes between Earth and the sun every four months or so, but the planet's orbit is tilted compared to the plane of Earth's orbit. So most of the time, the tiny world passes above or below the sun's disk from our line of sight. So we are reading really good facts. It's probably helpful for you guys. It's helpful for me because I'm learning with you guys. And we read all kinds of good stuff. And that's a lot of information for one video. So I hope that helps for you guys. I hope you learned something today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.